guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy last week and I wanted to film an unboxing today so I could have it up for you guys. This week I will be doing a BoxyCharm and Ipsy get ready with me with the products that I got last month. But I just wanted to go ahead and film this so that I could maybe try to get that one up as well before the end of the month. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my Ipsy. Ipsy is a $10 a month beauty subscription where you get five deluxe size beauty products. Sometimes you get full size, sometimes you just get deluxe size. You take a test when you sign up and that's how they kind of personalize your products for you. I will say it's a lot easier for them to personalize your bag if you do review your bag and the products that you get in your bag. Another great thing about reviewing your products for Ipsy is it gives you 10 to 15 points every month and you can use those points towards products in their kind of point shop. They have this little thing where you can redeem your points for different types of products. I redeemed some of my points for this. This is a Luxie blending brush. I love Luxie brushes. They're super soft, they're synthetic, they're cruelty free and I believe they are vegan. This is the Luxie 227. It's just sim it's similar to the Sigma E25 or the MAC 217. So I really love brushes like this. So this is what the bag looks like for the month of January. It's kind of like a blue mesh and overlays over a silver bag. It kind of has that weird like leather kind of feeling. Um, card is in my bag. They usually give you a card that shows you what the theme of the month is and here it is. The theme of the bag for this month is Metropolis and then on the back it just gives you rules for entering their giveaway. They have a giveaway each month with their glam bags. The first thing that I'm actually going to talk about is this because it was not in the bag. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. So this is what it looks like and it has, it's kind of like just a little sample card that shows you. So it's um, anti-aging and skin loving. It has hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants. It's award-winning anti-aging formula, highly pigmented. It covers everything, won't crease or crack and clinically shown to make skin look younger. I have the color tan, which is going to be really dark for me right now, especially since it's winter time. Um, I do have the a sample of the Bye Bye Under Eye, the regular one, and I do like it. I like to use it with my finger, just like patting out a little bit under my eye. I will say that this claims to be a like illumination so it's supposed to be very hydrating for your under eye and stuff like that is usually pretty thick and it tends to crease on me I don't have a lot of fine lines under my eye but I do have a couple I'm curious to see how this is going to work for my oily skin next thing I'm pulling out is this little blush it's from Monica Dar and it's in the color paradise Paradise blush. I don't usually, I don't have a lot of products from Monica Dar. I've heard a lot of good things about them. So this is just a really, this is just a really tiny little blush. I actually appreciate uh, sample sizes like this because you can actually get your brush into it. I hate it when companies send you blushes or sample things that are in those little tiny eyeshadow pans and you can't fit anything in it. But this is what the blush looks like. It's kind of like a corally kind of pink and it has some gold flecks in it. It's very pigmented, very creamy. It feels really nice. It didn't have like a really intense kind of shimmer. I usually tend to stay away from blushes like that because they do emphasize the texture that I have on my skin. So this looks like it's going to be very promising. I love the color. Spring is coming around and this is a perfect springtime blush. The next thing I have in here is a brush and you guys know how crazy I am about brushes. This is from SL Miss Glam and it has Ipsy right here and it says L34 Blend Beauty. These are synthetic I believe. Of course you can see 
see there the brush it's just a nice blending brush uh, one thing that I noticed about this brush is the detail of it it has these two little I don't know if you can see it they're like little crystals or rhinestones embedded into the ferrule which I think is a really nice touch also it's really nice I'm really excited to see how these brushes work out I see them all over YouTube and I don't own any so this is gonna be really nice to try out uh, now I have this little sample size from Pure Lease. I've gotten a couple of things from this brand and Ipsy and a couple of Ipsy bags so I really like this brand. This is the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask Exfoliant. I love exfoliators as well. I exfoliate my skin pretty much every day. I know it's probably not good for your skin but I am definitely afraid of wrinkles and I do wear a lot of makeup a lot of the time so I really like to make sure that my skin is cleansed. This says gently resurface, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, and smooths. It's a 10 minute facial and it's for all skin types. Benefits. Blue Lotus Extract is a powerful antioxidant known for its anti-inflammatory benefits. White clay tightens skin and purifies pores, bamboo improves skin texture, ginger detoxifies, mushroom extracts helps to brighten skin tone, white tea soothes skin, rice bran water improves skin texture. It just says to cleanse your skin, apply a thin layer on the face, neck, and chest, let set for 10 to 15 minutes, and then remove the mask with warm water and it says to use two to three times a week so this is a pretty good size i bet you could probably get three uses out of this so i'm really excited to try this if i do like it i will be purchasing the full size of this as well and the last thing that i have in this bag is this little temp 2 it's a base smooth and matte primer so if you don't know what temp 2 is it's one of those airbrush um, makeup machines where you kind of put drops into a little kind of airbrush gun and then you like kind of basically paint it on your face. I don't have that machine. I have gotten something else from this um, brand as well in Ipsy bag and also in a boxy charm. It was their bronzer and I really did not like that bronzer. I used it all types of different ways. I used it with my fingers, I used it with a brush, I used it with a sponge. Every single way I seemed to apply it, it was leaving, it was really patchy on my skin and it just was not working out. But this is a primer. I'm really excited to try this out. So, really sorry if you can hear that. My dogs are barking outside. Um, but this is something to put underneath your makeup. So, and it's supposed to be mattifying. So, I'm just gonna put a couple of drops here what it feels like so it's kind of thick it kind of has like a gel consistency if you can see there it's not really runny I'm gonna take my finger and just so I don't know about smoothing but I would say maybe it would be a good mattifying primer it doesn't seem to be smoothing out the lines on my skin it's making my skin very soft and hydrated though it looks more like it would be good as a moisturizer, maybe like a mattifying moisturizer. So I will try this out. I will let you guys know if I like it or not. That is all I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I really do like a lot of the products that I got. I'm very excited to try them in a BoxyCharm and Ipsy get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get into the BoxyCharm now. So this is my BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm is a $21 a month beauty subscription. You do get, I believe, five full-size products in every box. Sometimes you get skincare, hair care, just all types of different things. One thing I really like about BoxyCharm is the card. The theme for this month is and, Charms, and the Charm School Award goes to. And it's probably just in honor of awards month, you know, Oscars, the Academy Awards. But one thing I really like about BoxyCharm is it gives you a product description, a lift it gives you a list of all the products that you get and it has a little description and also what the product retails for. The first thing I see on here is this guy right here which is a highlighter duo. Oh my god, that was packed pretty crazy. 
So it's from Vintage Cosmetics. It's a highlighter double in chocolate diamond and rose quartz. It's a full size and it retails for $35. Add a beautiful wash of color and subtle sexy shimmer with the limited edition illuminating face highlighter set. I saw some people swatch this on their unboxings and honestly it didn't look like it was really reflective. It probably would be best used on more of your natural days. So it's just a little compact here. You get a mirror and then this is what the product looks like. This is the chocolate diamond and then this is the rose quartz. Let me go ahead and swatch them. So that's chocolate diamond and as you can see that has a pretty good color payoff on my skin tone that probably would be a really nice highlight it wouldn't be too dark for my skin tone I'm about a medium to medium light right now let me swatch this this is rose quartz and I'm going to swatch it that is rose quartz right there. It does. It is very reflective and the powders are very soft and smooth. I'm actually really excited to try these now that I have swatched them. The next thing I have on here is this brush, which is something that I was really hoping I was going to get. Um, I don't have a lot of brushes from Crown um, Brushes, so it feels like it's a synthetic brush, so let's see. It is a full size, it retails for $12.99. A soft band brush designed for light powder applications for all over the face as well as along the neck and decollete. So I don't know about that because I usually don't wear things low enough to where you can see my decollete but this feels very nice. It's very soft, very promising. Hopefully it picks up powder very nicely because some brushes, you know, you get them and they just don't mesh well with your products. So I'm very excited to try this. I love brushes. I'm a brush hoarder. And now I have this. It's from Oscar Blandy, I think it's called. It's their dry shampoo. It's a full size and it retails for $23. Pronto Dry Shampoo is the ultimate time saver in a spray version. It refreshes, revives, and rejuvenates the hair in a matter of minutes. No water or blow dryer required. This dry shampoo, remo this dry shampoo removes excess oil and product buildup without stripping your hair while instantly boosting volume. I love dry shampoo, especially when my hair is clean because I like volume in my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna go part my hair right here and then give it a... It smells like lemons. It reminds me of furniture polish. Actually, you know what? I think this is gonna be pretty nice for me because most dry shampoos have a really like intense white cast on it because of the powder. This is actually not giving me a white cast, so. Ooh. It smells pretty good. So, there you go. Really love this. This is gonna come in handy. I. I think I'm running out of my dry shampoo right now, so <laughs> this is going to replace it. The next thing I see in here is this little guy from Pure. It's a cheek stain. It's a blush tint and brush duo. Full size retails for $26. Give your cheeks the perfect wash of color with Pure Chateau Cheek Stain. This gel-like formula melts into your skin to give your look a dewy, fresh glow. Add a dab for a barely there tint or layer it for a dramatic flush of moisture rich color. Either way you wear the cheek stain blush, your skin will thank you. So this is supposed to have, it's in the color Cabernet. This is supposed to have a brush with it. So let's see, this is the tube right here. So this is the cheek stain, it's really dark. Um, and then this is the brush. So let me 
actually swatch it on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a swatch. So that's what it looks like not blended out. It's a really kind of purpley toned kind of blush. I'm just gonna blend it out with this brush. It blends out pretty easily, pretty nicely. This brush is really soft too. As you can see there, it just has that kind of pinky flesh to it. I don't usually gravitate towards products like this. I heard it had a nice smell. It does smell really nice. It smells kind of like, it has kind of a fresh smell, but kind of sweet at the same time, kind of like candy, weird. But I don't usually use products like this, but I do like stepping out of my comfort zone every now and then and then just trying new products. So this is going to be something that a first time for me and I'm pretty excited for it. Didn't think I would be but it's a very nice product. The last thing I have in here is this guy and it's from English Laundry. It's a deluxe roller ball. It's deluxe size and it retails for $25. English Laundry Signature Roller Ball. So that's all it says and the boxy tip says this classic scent can be used on the go to keep you smelling fresh and sophisticated. So it doesn't tell you the types of notes or anything in this um, roller ball. Let's see here. It's a little, you slide it out. Nope. It just says made in the USA. And wow, it's fancy. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's like a clear glass and it goes from pink to clear. It's a good size, it's a good amount of product. I don't typically like roller balls because a lot of times I'm spraying my um, perfume, but this is a really good size. I really like it. It smells really nice. Let's see here. I don't have anything on right now. It smells really good. It's a it's more of a sweet scent, which is something that I do like. I do like sweet scents. It kind of reminds me of this Ed Hardy perfume that I have. I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore, but it's called Circus. It has very sweet, sweet notes. It's not really clean. <clears throat> it doesn't smell like it has any kind of floral to it. It's more of like a sugar marshmallow kind of smell. I don't know, I can't explain it. But I really like that. I love perfume. I have so much perfume and I always, I'm always looking for something that's a little different from what I have in my collection. Unfortunately, this is something similar to what I have, but I will be using it. It's always nice to have these and stick them in your purse. So that's all I got for my BoxyCharm. I really love all the products in my BoxyCharm. I always do. I feel like this is my favorite beauty subscription. I will have both the bag and the box linked in the description down below. If you do use my link, I do get points for you signing up want to disclose that to you guys. If you guys have any requests or any kind of questions about the boxes or anything, just let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because I do upload two to three videos every week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video.